With a golden ticket, an attacker can impersonate any user or service within the domain and gain unauthorized access to the target system and its resources. The ticket is golden because it bypassed the normal authentication process and grant the attacker extensive privileges, making them an all-powerful user within the compromised domain. In this video, we're gonna explain what is the golden ticket, how it works, and how to exploit it. Let's get started. Now, in the DC Sync attack video, we discussed how the SVC Law Manager user was able to dump the ntds.dat file that contains NTLM password hashes of all the domain users, including the administrator. The reason behind this was that the SVC Law Manager had DC Sync permissions on egotistical-bank.local domain. With these permissions, an attacker can impersonate a domain controller and request other domain controllers to replicate their data to the attacker systems. If you find this confusing, I recommend watching the DC Sync attack video for more detailed explanation. Now let's perform this attack once again. So secretsdump.py egotistical-bank.local slash svc law manager and the password of the svc law manager at 10 10 10 175. Hit enter. As you can see, we have got all the NTLM password hashes of all the domain users. Now, we have the capability to perform a pass the hash attack, as we demonstrated previously. However, that is not our focus in this video. What we aim to achieve is the creation of what is known as the golden ticket. In the first video of the attacking Active Directory series, the Kerberos video, we explained that every Active Directory environment have a user called KRBTGT. This user is generated by the operating system that cannot be directly used for logging in and has a really complicated password. The KRBTGT user main purpose is to encrypt tickets using its password hash. This means that if we have the KRBTGT password hash, we can create a forged ticket that impersonate any user we desire. We simply generate the ticket with the desired user information and then encrypting it using the KRBTGT password hash. This allows us to pretend to be that user. Isn't that amazing? Now let's stop talking and start doing. So we're gonna use the ticketer script. So ticketer.py in t hash, we specify the qrbtgt password hash, and then the domain said we're gonna use this command. I just get this command from the internet that uh, returns the domain said. We're gonna paste it on the SVC law manager shell. As you can see, this is the domain set. Copy it, paste it here. And then we specify the domain, which is egotistical-bank.local and the username, which is administrator. Now our ticket is saved in the administrator.ccache file. Let's check if we have any Kerberos tickets saved in our session. To do that, we just type key list. As you can see, there is no credential cache file displayed. Now let's set the krb5cc name environment variable to the ticket file so that we can use it for the future authentications. We can do this by exporting krb5cc name environment variable as administrator.ccache. Let's type keylist again. As you can see, the ticket has been added successfully. Now let's use psexec, but before we do, we need to add the server IP address to the DNS resolve. So sudo vim etsy resolve.conf and add the IP address. So all the DNS requests goes to that server first. Now let's execute psexec. So psexec.py egotistical-bank.local slash administrator at soana.egotistical-bank.local dash key to use Kerberos dash no pass. Hit enter. As you can see, we encountered a clock skew message indicating a significant time difference between my computer and the server. Therefore, it's essential to ensure that our system time is closely synchronized with the server. As mentioned in the Kerberos video, the first video of this series, the ticket we sent to the server contains a timestamp. The domain controller verified the validity of this timestamp, ensuring it's current. If it's valid, the DC will return a ticket granting ticket, a TGT. So we need to have a synchronized time with the server. And we can change it using the date command, but I prefer to win it the easiest way using the ntpdate tool. Let's install it, sudo apt install ntpdate and type sudo ntpdate-u 10 10 10 175. Good. Now let's run our ps exact command again. Hit enter. 
who I am, NT Authority System. So we have used the ticket saved on our session to authenticate as a local administrator. That's great. That's the video. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy it and you learn something new. If you did, please subscribe and uh, like the, the video so we can make more uh, valuable, great content. And uh, thank you for your time.